Today we are going over supine hypotensive syndrome, also known as supine hypotension. And just for the sake of your test, um, you might also see it like this, vena cava compression syndrome. Um, I rarely ever hear it like this, but this is a different way of identifying um, supine hypotensive syndrome or aka supine hypotension. Uh, usually you'll see it like this, supine hypotension, that's the normal way of saying it. Um, so first off, what's going on with this and when are you going to see this happen? So this right here, in case you can't tell, is a pregnant lady. Usually you'll see supine hypotensive syndrome in the third trimester of a pregnancy and it happens when the lady is laying supine, so straight on her back. What happens in that trimester, the baby is getting bigger, the placenta is, is pretty big too, and then on top of that, the fluids and everything else that's accumulating in the stomach is building up a good amount of weight. To be precise, it's going to be between 20 pounds to 24 pounds, around that ballpark. So when you have your patient laying on her back and she's pregnant, that weight is going to compress down on the inferior vena cava. Now, if you watched any of my other uh, episodes, you know that the inferior vena cava carries blood to the heart. So, if you're compressing this vena cava down with the weight of the baby, that means that blood, not enough blood, is able to transfer or get to the heart. Well, if not enough blood is getting to the heart, then the cardiac the cardiac output is also affected. And cardiac output, CO, so this is affected, is decreased too. Cardiac output, this just means the amount of blood that's pumped out of the heart, all right? Um, I have a whole different video on that, but this just means that the amount of uh, blood is being pumped by the heart to feed the body. So this... Uh, will result in a decrease in blood pressure. You're going to see signs of shock. So, signs of shock on your patient. Luckily, this is an easy fix. And if you know what you're doing with your patient, your patient is pregnant, she's laying flat down, showing signs of shock, blood pressure is going down, she's not looking very well, uh, a real easy fix for this is just to lay your patient on the left side. So you want to put your patient on her left side. So why the left side? That's the question that I always get. You want to lay them on the left side because you don't want to add pressure onto the liver. The liver is on the right side of your patient. So by putting them on the left side, you don't really have any major organs over here, anything big. It's just going to make your life easier, your patient's life easier. Um, hopefully this helps you out. But just to kind of emphasize on what's going on here I'm gonna repeat it real quick a quick little rundown so hypo so supine hypotension you're gonna see this when your patient is in her third trimester right most likely may, maybe before who knows but usually it's in the third trimester and what's going on is that if your patient's laying flat on her back supine that's what this, that's what that means supine then the weight from the baby and everything else, the fluid, the placenta, um, which is about 20 to 24 pounds, is compressing on the inferior vena cava, which means that night of blood is going to travel to the heart and your heart's not going to be able to pump enough blood as much as it is needed for your body to actually function properly. Blood pressure is going to decrease. Shock is going to start. 